Strumming for beginners. Okay, so we're going to look at a few things here. We're going to look at the right hand, we're going to look at the left hand, we're going to look at a few examples and a few patterns for you to practice. Right. We're going to play three chords in these examples, which are going to be C major, A minor, and E major. And the reason that I've chosen those three is because they're fairly easy to change because from a C to an A minor all you're changing is one finger and then from an A minor to an E we're just lifting that pattern up so it should make the changes fairly easy so once again it's just C, A minor and E if you don't know those chords it's absolutely no problem just play an E chord for all the examples so that's what we're going to be doing on the left hand. So right hand then, when you're strumming you want to have a fair amount of pick sticking out if you're just doing regular strumming. For close picking and fast picking you'd have less of it out but for this exercise and you want it at a right angle to your thumb. Okay so the motion should be down across all the strings. And make sure you can hear each of the notes in your chord. If you're getting any of this sort of stuff. Then you need to adjust your left hand. And make sure that none of the fleshy parts of your finger, these bits here, are touching the other strings. Because that's what's normally muting them. Okay. The other thing to note with your right hand, it should be totally relaxed. So if you're strumming and you're rigid, it's going to cause... It just sounds too horrible and harsh, so make sure your wrist is really relaxed. Relaxed, not rigid. You had, your hand should be totally floppy. So exercise one then. So hold your C chord. If you don't know these chords, then just play an E major chord, which is so open, second fret, second fret, first fret, open and open. If you do know these chords, you can practice it with these chords. So we're going to practice C first of all, and we're going to go down. So again, that pattern is. Down, 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 up. Then change to A minor and the same pattern. Down, 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 up. And then change to E major. Down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. So that's your first exercise. Now the key here is to try and make the chord changes as smooth as possible. Okay, so if you need to practice it slowly to get the change, then that's what you should do. So if it's like this. The nice is actually slow down to get the change. So your rhythm shouldn't change, it should be.
Okay, so if you have to make your rhythm. That slow to get the changes in, then that's what you should do. It's more important to get the change in and make it sound smooth than it is to make it fast. If you're having a job changing these chords, then you've got, there's no problem in just muting the strings with your hand, so you're just resting it on. You're not applying any pressure, you're just going to rest it. So you're just going to get a, a blank sound. There's no harm in just practicing that. There's no harm in practicing that just to get your right hand working. So exercise two then. Same chords. So the pattern here is down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, next exercise, so C major, A minor, E major. Down, up, down, up. Next exercise. is down, 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 up, down, up. So down, 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 up, down, up. Okay, next exercise. 